In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this part. It's part of assignment 7.3a, Tolerances, and it's part 1, the adjustable rocker arm. We'll create this drawing. Start out by creating this part. I'm going to create a new part and a new sketch on the XY plane. turn on construction geometry and I'm going to open my origin folder and I'm going to project my uh, IZ plane and my XZ plane. I'm also going to draw a line uh, from the origin and this direction straight out it's going to be uh, 4.125 180 degrees to the right, to the left. Enter. Let's uh, turn construction geometry off and uh, draw a circle at the origin. Point five nine. circle 1.24 turn construction geometry back on and I'm going to draw a centered rectangle and the width is going to be 0.13 tab and the length is 0.7 Two, two. Zoom in, turn off construction geometry. I'm going to draw in this keyway. I'm going to use my trim tool. I'm going to zoom into the end of this line I created earlier. And I'm going to draw a uh, turn construction geometry off, make sure it's off. And uh, draw uh, the circle is. Um, 0.75 and the outer circle is 1.24 when extrude I choose my profiles this one and this. I'm going to go out in both directions and the distance is going to be 0.875. I'm going to create another sketch and I'm going to do it on the YZ plane. Turn on construction geometry and I'm, I'm, I'm going to project cut edges and then I'm going to uh, turn on this uh, this icon here, slice graphics, and that'll let me see. Uh, I've projected all the edges that cut the, uh, the, the sketching plane. Uh, leaving construction geometry on, I'm going to project project geometry and I'm going to project the XZ plane. Notice I projected the uh, there's a construction line here on this uh, on this plane. I'm going to draw uh, two uh, horizontal lines
and I use my dimension tool uh, to dimension from here to here. And that's going to be uh, 0.5. Dimension from here to here. And that'll be 0.5 also. And I, I create a, a centered arc. Turn off uh, construction geometry. And I'm going to draw the centered arc from. Uh, Same over here. I'm going to draw the a horizontal line across over here and here. I'm going to use my trim tool. To, uh, to clean up these edges. I'm going to uh, cut there and there. An extrude and I'm going out in both directions and the distance is uh, 0.25 I'm going to add a um, radius uh, on this surface here, uh, fill it. I'm going to make a Create a new sketch on the uh, XY plane. I'm going to turn on construction, and once again, I'm going to project, uh, cut, cut edges, and turn on um, slice graphics. I'm going to draw a line from the center. And the distance is going to be 2.32. Tab and make that 150 degrees. Tab, enter. Escape. I'm going to draw a circle at the end of this line. Turn off construction geometry. And uh, that circle is uh, 0.531. Another circle. And that's exactly one. I'm going to extrude that profile, and the distance is 1.25. Uh, but I'm going out in both directions. Hit OK. Can create a new sketch on the uh, y, x, y plane once again. And once again, uh, turn on per, uh, construction geometry. And I'm going to project cut edges. Uh, turn on slice graphics. Going to draw a
a construction line from, I'm going to catch this tangent point here and draw it up here, uh, approximately there. In this case, I'm going to draw a construction line from, draw a line from uh, here to here, in escape, and a line from uh, this tangent point uh, just up here in this general direction. Hit escape. I'm going to make these lines parallel. Let's say that that is parallel to that, and uh, that is parallel to that. And uh, I'm going to make use of my tangent constraint and say that that is tangent to that, and that is tangent to that. And you'll see the little tangent uh, constraint marks there uh, once I do that. Uh, so um, I'm going to do my centered arc turn off construction geometry and I'm going to draw uh, zoom in and draw an arc from uh, a centered arc specify the center and then choose that point and draw it around to that point there uh, likewise over here I'm going to create an arc I'm going to overshoot the arc so I'm going to trim up here and to there Here to over here going past because I'm going to trim. And from here to here, use my trim tool to trim that edge and that, edge, that line there. extrude uh, in both directions and the distance is uh, 0.38 Free to fill it and uh, the distance is going to be uh, point is going to equal 0.38 divided by 2 uh, um, I deleted the inches won't take it if there's inches there. And I'm going to specify uh, these edges. And there's my part. I'm, I'll create a uh, drawing for this part in a separate draw in a separate video.